Hello class. So this week we are going to be learning something new in Letterland and I wanted to start out by showing you this card. Now this is Yellow Yo-Yo Man but as you can tell he has something in his sack right here. Okay we see that that is an E and I'll tell you about that in just a second. But first I want to practice spelling out a word so that you can um, be familiar with the concept that we're going to be learning this week. So the word that I'm going to try and spell out is actually baby. So the first part of that word is b, b. So I know that I have a b at the beginning. So we have b. And then the next sound, I'm sure you could tell me b, a. It's an a. B, a. And then the next sound would be b, a, b. It's another b. And then b, a, b, e. Now, we've already learned that when we hear that E at the end, that it's probably a magic E, right? Or Mr. E at the end of that word. So our brain would say, oh yeah, that's going to be an E at the end of the word. Well, I want to talk to you about this card, like I was just telling you. I want to give you a little bit more information about that card. So the problem with the fact that this is an E is Mr. E made almost all the final E's into silent magic E's, and they don't make any sounds at all. So instead of baby, we have babe, okay? Because this is becoming a silent E. So we're not really hearing that. So it's just babe. Now that's not the word I'm trying to spell. I'm not trying to spell babe. I'm trying to spell babe E. But we want to spell baby. So we're going to we're going to solve this problem. Mr. E is going to solve this problem for us. So he offered a job of saying E at the end of the words to Yellow Yo-Yo Man. And of course, Yellow Yo-Yo Man, he said he would help him because he wants to help, of course. And he wants to put his letter at the end of words. So Mr. Excuse me, Yellow Yo-Yo Man's job is going to be to carry the E in his sack while he's working for him, while he's working for Mr. E. So whenever we see the E in the sack, that means that we know that he's working for Mr. E, but we're saying the, um, it's really a Y at the end of the word. It's not an E, even though we're saying the E. So if we were to switch this out, take it with E and then put the Y. Now this is actually how you spell the word baby. So it would be B. A, B, E, you hear the E, but we're actually writing a Y because that is really yellow yo-yo man. It's actually not a magic E because the magic E is inside. So we're actually writing a Y. So the word baby is B, A, B, Y for baby. Now I'm gonna stick e, this card right here. So we remember, I'm gonna take those cards away. And we're going to go over some more words that follow this concept. So if you'll notice on this side, I have the word short vowel. And then on this side, I have vowelman. This also means long vowel. Okay, so short vowel and long vowel. Now we know if it is a short vowel, that it is saying it's letterland sound that it makes. So for example, if it is the letter A, it would be making that ah sound. Okay, so we're only looking at the first part of the word for short vowels. So for example, I'll show you. We're looking at this word. This is the word lucky, lucky, okay? So that U right there is making that uh, uh sound for up umbrella. It's not making a Mr. U sound. So that's what's making it a short vowel. So this is the word lucky. And see, we're saying the E sound, but we're actually writing a Y. So we have lucky, okay, and we have pretty. Now remember this is a short vowel so this is not windy, it's windy. What eh, eh, eh. Windy. There's that E on the end but it's really a Y. We have puppy and we have funny. Funny. Okay, another quick note about this concept that's a little bit tricky is that you have two letters here, okay, but you're only saying one sound. So, for example, in the word pretty, I only hear the prit, 
one time, the T one time, but I'm really writing to you. You'll learn a, bit, a little bit more about that um, in second grade, but for right now, we're just going to stick to practicing those words and writing them the right way, so that's why you need to be practicing and writing the words out. So we have lucky, pretty, windy, puppy, and funny for our short vowels that go with y yellow yo-yo man with his magic E in the sack. Okay. Now vowel men, it just means that he's saying the, you're saying the vowel men sound the long, that's a long, that's called a long vowel. So we have the word sleepy. We have the word baby, which we've already practiced that one. We have the word snowy. We have the word easy. And we have the word tiny, okay? Now remember, long vowel means that you're saying the vowel men sound at the beginning of the word. We're not talking about the e, the Y at the end. We're only talking about the first, um, the first sound that you hear. So it would be E, okay? I'm saying Mr. E sound. Sleepy. B, A, B, saying Mr. A sound. Snow, E, Mr. O sound. Easy, Mr. E, and tiny, okay? Saying Mr. I sound. Okay, so those are the words that you'll, or some of the words that you could be sorting. There's plenty of words that you could find that follow this pattern because there's lots of words that actually have Y's on the end of them. Now, another quick note, there are some tricky words this week that I just wanted to go over so that you're familiar with them. One of those words is story. Here, H-E-R-E, -E, here, that's a sight word. We already know that word, or we should know that word. The word monkey. It's a little bit tricky because we have E and a Y at the end. The word work. Okay. And this is the word words. Those are a little tricky too. Okay. So here are all of your words for this week that you should be practicing. Um, I hope that that was helpful and that you'll be looking for that magic E in Yellow Yo-Yo Man's sack. And another great resource for you to use is Letterland app, the Letterland app that was sent out. You can access that through your Rapid Identity account. And actually, you can look up the story that is interactive online for this concept. All right. And I'll be posting all of your um, word sorts and your story to follow as well. All right. Good luck practicing. Bye.